Dada Democracy. The Dada in Temporal, Sara Spinoza Athens. Art instead of politics. What new constitution can replace the old one? When will we grow up and stop frightening ourselves with such boogaboos? The old constitution invented to keep the prisoners of the cave in captivity has had ample time to roll out its effects. It is time now to make an effort to imagine a political philosophy for assemblage of human and non-humans. We still do not have the slightest idea what the consequences of such a reunion, such a resumption of the work of collection might be. We simply know that what was formerly prohibited by the split into two houses has now become possible. We now know how to begin again, quite simply, to undertake democratic politics instead and in place of that imperial politics. Bruno Latour, Politics of Nature, How to Bring the Science into Democracy, Harvard University Press, 2004. Democracy is Dada, an act of constantly triggering off the creativity of randomness, the merging of data or else it's a crisis. The truly ecumenical miracle of Christ is regaining humanity regardless of the combinations we resort to. No matter what combination the data of humanity occur in, it is the Son of Man that emerges unfailingly. It is Jesus as the symbol of man that we rediscover time and time again, though each time as new man. Today's church nonetheless is the market and it dramatically curtails all possible combinations, thus cutting into humanity's divine body. Pour faire un poème dadaist, to make a dadaist poem, prenez un journal, take a newspaper, prenez des ciseaux, take some scissors. Choisissez dans ce journal un article ayant la longueur que vous comptez donner à votre poème. Choose from this paper an article of the length you want to make your poem. Découpez l'article. Cut out the article. Découpez ensuite avec soin chacun des mots qui forment cet article et mettez-les dans un sac. Next, carefully cut out each of the words that make up this article and put them all in a bag. Agitez doucement. Shake gently. Sortez ensuite chaque coupure l'une après l'autre dans l'ordre où elles ont quitté le sac. Next, take out each cutting one after the other in the order in which they left the bag. Copiez consciencieusement. Copy conscientiously. Le poème vous ressemblera. The poem will resemble you. Et vous voilà un écrivain original doué d'une sensibilité charmante encore qu'incomprise du vulgaire. And there you are, quote-unquote, an infinitely original author of charming sensibility, even though unappreciated by the vulgar herd. After having been considered long dead, historicized beyond redemption, historical avant-garde movements are once again enjoying attention, albeit commemoratively, as they are exhumed and celebrated as mere cultural objects, that is to say, in their very capacity as historical dead, as specters. Impotent, disarmed, domesticated, harmless. Those curious enough to pursue these studies, both old and recent ones, written and continuing to be written on avant-garde movements, will only be able to discern a limp objectivist historicism. In other words, their purely museum-like reactivation. There is no novel avant-garde idea coming to indwell the letter of the old boisterous manifestos being symbolically unearthed with protective gloves and in sealed environments, like mummies deviantly representative of a modernity and of a hyper-modernism deactivated in their turn under suspicion of being contaminated with a lethal, not yet dormant virus. Dangerous exhibits which no one can rid, not that anyone is thus inclined, of the cautionary label complete with skull and crossbones, plus mandatory exclamation points. Danger! Do not touch! Handle with care! Museums defend us, keep us away from their exhibits. Due to the sanitary, historicist cultural attitude revealed in exhibiting them, avant-garde movements are regarded, implicitly and preventively, as corpses, and dangerous, possibly contaminated corpses of that. Of all avant-garde movements, that is, the Dada movement, more precisely, was the only one managing to escape ending up in a system. 
Gana carries the purest, most radical of all avant-garde ideas. Unadulterated gestuality, quick to undergo resorption, anonymously disseminated in what we might call avant-garde movements, proper, institutionalized, that is, which followed it and which is self-made possible through a seminal gesture as a threshold surpassed as a ruptured dam blockage. Dada is the avant-garde of the avant-garde. It is the very idea of avant-garde in its full generality and precariousness. Dada did not become an ideology, nor did it dream of becoming politics. Dada is the sub-infra-historical transcendental of current art. During the brief inaugural moment marking the commencement of his, her action, intervention, each contemporary artist, inevitably and invisibly, undergoes a brief Dada amnesis. Dada is the moment zero, minus, triggering off contemporary art, the art that renders things contemporary. As Tristan Zara himself used to say, Dada is not. The notion and term avant-garde manifesto, Dada manifesto, are not to be taken as nouns, but, as Heidegger used to say about being, as verbs, as act, not as object. The so-called Dada manifestos, the first, the second, the third, etc., having a simple date and location ascribed to them, are not to be read as objects, as nouns, but as verbs in the indicative, therefore imperative mode, as manifestation and ontological imperative, at the level of being, of the manifestation. This text, this gesture, manifests Dada. Manifest Dada! Manifest yourselves, Dada! An inconsumable gesture, Dada can only be repeated, being itself a repetition. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. What cannot pass, what is not conceived as an object, but only as a triggering of gesture, can only be repeated. Something genuinely new can only occur through repetition. What the repetition actually repeats is not the way in which the past quote-unquote, has been effective, but the inherent virtuality of the past, betrayed by its past virtualization. The new can only occur through repetition. Something genuinely new occurs as an eternity in time, transcending its own material conditions. A genuinely new work of art stays new forevermore. Its newness does not run out, not even when its so-called shock value has dissipated. The work of art is, more often than not, providing the context that allows us to understand, in truth, a given historical situation. Slavoj Žižek, Organs Without Bodies, Deleuze and Consequences, Routledge, 2003. Dada is the gesture by which art re-triggers itself off, by which art becomes once again, each and every time, open, possibly alive. Dada is a manifestation of life as art, life becoming art directly, for that's what it actually is, impossible to summon, other than through its culturalization, through its transformation into an object of cultural consumption, into a curiosity, into an unengaging wideness, disarmed, neutralized, sanitized. The Dada negativity is in fact the positive affirmation of life. Negativity alone is affirmative and primal due to its opposition to the primal non-differentiation and homogeneousness. Hominization and aliveness always start through a separation, through a negation, through an act of dislodgement, of uprooting, through a quality leap. To make a Dadaist poem is part of a Dada manifesto. It is a famous Dada poem, revealing the basic, most provocative Dada technique, that of creation available to all by the recourse to chance, to hazard. The poem as an act of casting lots by rechallenging and redescending into chaos. Art as a form of gambling, Malarmé. Un coup de dé jamais n'a mourir à le hasard. Nice bien de luz, trusting in chance, in hazard staking everything on one card as the only possibility of repetition, of affirming the perpetual return. Only supreme surprise and irony, what Tsara calls in this brief, flashingly precise text, technically a Dadaist poem, turns out to be literature itself is Dada. 
Dada in its turn is nothing but the ironic manifestation of the generality of literature, art, creation. Dada is not an avant-garde movement. Dada is not. And there is no way it could have ever disappeared. It could only undergo resorption into the generic act of artistic creation. Tara is talking here about us, the people of today, thus activating the idea of fashion. Because at that particular moment, immediately after World War I, the Great War of Capitalism, that I emerge as a fashion, as a curiosity, manifesting the idea that anyone could be an artist. The poem is akin to a cooking recipe, to a set of DIY instructions. Irony and earnestness. Dada is a fashion. Anyone can be fashionable. Moreover, and that's an extremely present idea, it's not only personalized, customized, individualized, consumer-oriented products that account for the fashion. It is ourselves that are able and ought to produce what we want to participate hyper-ironically in the fashion, not by merely purchasing products as consumers, but by getting involved in their manufacturing as actual manufacturers. Individual knowledge has been disqualified by capitalist production in order to make us dependent, yet we, ironically enough, are ourselves able to produce, manifest ourselves as independent, autonomous beings, however, for the very purpose of participating without any feeling of alienation in the capitalist movement of fashion itself. This is the unheard peal of laughter of the Dada spirit, describing prophetically the current post-industrial moment of capitalism self-critical and self-revolutionary triumph. We are independent and autonomous, yet only to the end of reproducing models. Dadaism ironically affirmed as fashion. Anyone can be a Dadaist, that is, can participate in the fashion. In an extreme paradox, Dada puts itself forth under our very eyes as Dadaism, in other words, as a fashionable trend of fashion itself. Simultaneously, it is against the market, through its liberation from the passive, a reified consumer condition, yet all it does this way is generalize the market, internalized capitalism. Since gesture equals data, what are the gestures in this utilitarian how-to-literature text? Cut out, shake, take out, copy. Giving free reign, that is, to the random manifestation of substance, to the substance creating randomness. Everything starts in the newspaper and reverts to the newspaper. How do we get to the paper? Starting from the paper. How can one become an author of literature? How can one reach, in other words, the pinnacle of market subjectivization and individuation by cutting out, shaking, taking out, copying? Dada is not the negation of literature, but literature, art itself revealed. Dada is a sculpture in a socially pre-existing Dada does not negate literature, but neutralizes it, exposes it in its full mechanical banality, in its full capitalist industrial artificiality. Tara's recipe poem ought to be read from the ulterior perspective of such a text as Michel Foucault's What is an Author? Though subject to irony as idealization, as subjectivist market delusion, merchandise subjectivity in Marius Babiash's words, literature and art are not negated thus, but, albeit ironically, democratized, set in agreement with themselves as an impersonal personalization technique. When negated, syntax and grammar in general do not count, since socially the matter, making up technically, Procedurally, our subjectivity is semantically performed. Materials already are formed, considering that they've been pre-selected, pre-formed. This is the price of acceding to the privilege of social subjectivity, artificiality, the technical artificiality bath. Things are nevertheless as serious as they can be. We cut out our individuality from what is socially pre-existing. What Sarah negates is the art as an idealistic capitalist lie. This is art, is what Dada says. We can all have mechanical, that is instant access to it, orbit on an impersonal basis. Isn't this one of art's current slogans? Immediate raw, ready-made art, 
the joy of recognized subjectivity is nothing but an impersonal artifice, a technique for activating the impersonal. We can only enjoy a fake subjectivity, a technical, manufactured subjectivity. That is the price. Ethically, it is worth knowing that, being aware of it. Subjectivization requires technique, procedures for extricating ourselves from the impersonal and the generic. Creation is plus through minus, affirmation through extrication and recombination. Negation itself is affirmative. Dada is an ethics that can only as ethics put forth politics. In order to make ourselves a poem, art, in order to become authors and participate in the ontological capitalist movement of constructing the art society, it is not only the length of the article that counts, as Sarah points out, but also its type. Shall we construct our subject poem out of the words of a political, sports, fashion article, out of a lampoon, out of a book or exhibition review? Worth still. Out of what newspapers, out of what media, what ready media could construct today, in Dadaist manner, our poem, our social subjectivity? Dada becomes an impossible ethics, while Tsara's irony becomes acute. It worsens, becomes dramatic. We have accepted the lie of art, which is actually its artificial ontology. We do know that the matter out of which we socially carve our being cannot be virgin, but it is already formed and preselected. Still, capitalism has come to preform entirely the prefabricated matter of our being. We have no choice, really. The media, as impersonally representative, socially pre-existent element, is today fully falsified and preemptively so. Capitalism has reached down to the essence of things, for that very reason metaphysically postulated, in order to have an allegedly central dominant position to occupy. Metaphysics imposes to the territories of reality a military map. Metaphysics is a strategic plan for conquering the world. There is nothing left for us to manufacture our being artificially. The media no longer represent reality. Take a paper. What kind of paper? Which paper exactly? To cut out what words? The words of newspapers, the words coming out of newspapers, out of the media, are growing less and increasingly prefabricated. Still, literature and the art of being continue in unaltered, deadest fashion. What is, and ethically abides, truly important, supremely Spinozian, is precisely the painstaking diligence, the amount of labor, the earnestness and abnegation, the pleasure we have to invest in the dedicated, in personal construction of our personal being, even though it has become increasingly fake and artificial, the artifice and the prefabricated having conquered the realm of reality in its entirety. The ardor and earnestness of producing something out of substantialized nothing is what really matters. The ontological act of manufacturing joining together the individual being out of a social material. Ethically, we have to work on ourselves in order to be satisfied with ourselves. And this takes practice, technical skills and a steady hand. It is the only satisfaction available to us, and this precisely is ethics. The pleasure, the bodily bliss of self-producing, of constituting ourselves even out of nothing, inevitably out of nothing, out of the fake, out of the artificial, out of the others, nevertheless, by your own self. As current theoreticians of democracy would say, when speaking of the elections moment to which the essence of democracy has been reduced, Art is exactly a procedure for producing the substance. It is only procedurally, technically, that substance is produced alongside joint social existence and a common world. Democracy is actually the trick for technically producing the common substance. Democratically and artistically, supremely dataistic, therefore, the only problem is choice and pre-choice. We can resort to the randomness of picking things out of a sack or out of a bowl, of casting lots. Yet it is not the choice, the manner of choosing representatives, be they words or members of parliament, politician, that counts. But what they do afterwards, in between two electoral moments, chance or no chance, 
which always supposes, socially at least, a pre-selection. A certain candidate and a certain election campaign. The Dadaist instance of choosing words out of a newspaper included. The possibility of choice is anyway rigged, and even if we destroy horizontally by shaking gently the syntax, the grammar of human and lexical democracy, semantics has already solved everything vertically by taking root in the choices already made. We can only create ourselves the loose passion by deduction, extrication and recombination in the exact order of terms. With infinite sobriety from the pre-existing substance, the ethics being the one dictated by the imperative of painstakingly producing the self. Ontologically, we only exist out of the common substance of the others. It is nevertheless ethical to produce ourselves technically, procedurally, artistically, democratically, from the common substance. Democracy is a simultaneous Dada poem a Spinozian modulation of the common substance, divine due to its common nature. Divinity is the community of modulable substance, the art of democracy. Democracy is art, art itself today in lieu of politics, with a view to extending democracy, a procedural technique for regaining, producing, modulating the divine common substance. Per causam sui intelligo id cuius essentia involvit existentiam, sive id cuius natura non protest concipinisi existence. By cause of itself, I mean that of which its essence involves existence, or that of which its nature cannot be conceived except as existing. Essence only exists in manifested form, that is a manifestation and manifesto, potentia created by the act. Per substantium intelligo it quod in se estes per se concipitur. By substance, I mean that which exists in itself and is conceived through itself. Per attributum intellige it quod intellectus de substantia percipit tarquam e juste essentiam constituens. By attribute, I mean that in a substance which the understanding perceives as constituting the essence of the substance. Per modum intelligo substantia affectionus sive it quod in alio est, per quad etiam concipitur. By mode, I mean the affections of a substance, or that which exists in something else and through which it is also conceived. Per duum intelligo ens absolute infinitum hoc ex substantiam constantem infinitis attributis quorum una quongue eternam et infinitam essentiam exprimit. By God, I mean absolutely infinite being. That is, a substance consisting of infinite attributes of which each expresses eternal and infinite essence. It is the beginning, the Dada Zero movement of Spinoza's ethics. Zara reiterates Spinoza by activating randomness as chance by the democratic descent in the randomness of tempestuously timeless democracy. Democracy is the art of producing ourselves out of the nothing or the artifact, the technically artistically saturated abyss of the divine common substance. Democracy is Dada, an act of constantly triggering off the creativity of randomness, the merging of data. Or else it's a crisis. The truly ecumenical miracle of Christ is regaining humanity regardless of the combination we resort to. No matter what combination the data of humanity occur in, it is the Son of Man that emerges unfailingly. It is Jesus as the symbol of man that we rediscover time and time again, though each time as new man. Today's church, nonetheless, is the market, and it dramatically curtails all possible combinations, thus cutting and reassembling humanity's divine body. Democracy is the art of modulating substance. Even if in capitalism substance has been rendered completely artificial, completely undermined, the art of democracy consists in the technical and procedural recreation through infinite modulation, the infinitely modulable common substance. God is that, but divinity can be recreated, the democratically artistic modulation of a divine substance. In other words, through creating the common as substance, through modulation, the attribute, the common, generates substance. What else could art be if not the technical production of common substance? Divinity is not given. It does not exist originally. But it can and should be created. 
produced through the art of democracy. Men's ethic duty is to create technically, procedurally democracy that is commonly modulable divine substance. In Dadaist fashion, in Athenian democracy, preference was given to gradual choice. Out of the whole of the community substance, of the political representatives, first of all the magistrates, by casting lots. Yet it does not matter how we select. Although the current liberal representative democracy has restricted itself to electoral arithmetics, democracy is, or can be, an integer, infinitesimal calculus, rather than simple arithmetic addition. As recently demonstrated, starting from a cryptic passage in Rousseau's social contract by the most promising, if not the only Romanian political philosopher, Radu Dobrescu, in his doctoral thesis, Arithmetical Democracy, Algebraic Democracy, Rousseau, General Will and the Small Differences, Laval University. The substantialization procedure of the common does not matter, nor does the democratic art of achieving the common, in other words, Spinoza's God, that is, substance through modulation. Artistic democratic modulation produces the common substance, this exactly being democratic ethics. The Dadaist activation of chance is more democratic. By resorting to chance, we truly choose out of the common, divine substance of the world. Let us then cast our elected in a hat and extract them by turns, carefully, as if they were our own words, each and every one, for that's what they actually are. Let us cut them out of the common substance and shake gently, not by means of revolutions, but constantly, the hatful of the elected, the canopia of democracy. Tsara is Spinoza, is Athens, democracy is Dada, or perpetual crisis. Through Dada democracy, each vote will be positive. Da, da. A double affirmative in Russian and Romanian is also Dada, as Tsara says. In the Dada democracy, each vote is positive, double affirmative, since it does not matter who wins, who is elected, as the election was governed by chance through randomness in the process of picking out of the seminal bag of common humanity. The only thing that matters ethically is the way the elected ones are going to modulate over the future by individual ethic productivity the divine common substance of democracy. Subjected to the procedure without a candidature, populism and sophistic manipulation of chance, of the da-da democratic casting of lots, each of the elected will no longer feel themselves elected, but only a modulation of the common substance, having to produce themselves democratically, that is, technically, procedurally and substantially, in ethical manner. Dada Spinoza, Tsara, Athens, democracy. Dada. Democracy is a permanent scandal. Simultaneous poem in several languages, the same poem in different languages. Tsara. What really matters is to have as much as you can in the hat each and every one, and mix well, shaking gently. It's democratic shaking that ensures a re democratic randomness. Shake democracy. It is actually the large number that increases the chances of truth, fulfilling chance. Democracy is dada, or perpetual crisis. The infinite of democracy, the infinity of democratic substance, actualized or not, constantly virtual. Substance can only be democratic. The substance of democracy can only be produced democratically, that is, ethically. Do manifest da da. Da, 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 the common substance. It can only exist through manifestation. And if various internationals of avant garde movements existed, dada can only be intemporal, can only constitute an intemporal. Dada is the absolute procedure. The phrase belongs to Tony in the book on constituent power or infinite democracy in time, in space, and in substance. Since. Dada is the minus moment of art, of democracy as art, the circumvented gap, the dark of the seminal sack of chance out of which the substance of democracy continually issues. Dada block box, democracy, input, output, legitimacy, Robert Gooding. Reflective Democracy, New York, Oxford University Press, 2003. Certain instances which were not elected can be recognized as legitimate if they contribute to the production of what is recognized as socially useful. 
Pierrot en Vallon, la légitimité démocratique, impartialité, réflexivité, proximité. Seuil 2008. Today, art takes over in an attempt to recreate it, the expressivity of men's constituent power, which has been depolitized, neutralized, deflected. Art invents constitutional spaces. Contemporary art is not political. There is no such thing as political art. Political art. Thank you, Bogdan. Um, I invite you actually to stick around without microphones and come here close if you'd like to speak with him about what we just experienced. O să vă mulțumesc că rămână că ați rămas pentru a fost destul de hard talk pentru duminică dimineață. Pozele pe care le-ați văzut au fost făcute această lecture care vine dintr-un defect al meu. Nu gândesc atât de bine ca în română în limba engleză și atunci am delegat a două voci din Radio România Internațional. Sunt voci de radio, de știriști. Poate v-ați dat seama, nu sunt actori. Și de asta suna totul ca un buletin de, de știri. Doar inserturile în limba franceză erau ale mele, că mi-e cumva mai aproape. Dar cum eu susțin, între timp am și publicat o carte și voi merge mai departe, ideea de traducere, fiecare. O limbă este ca un mediu. Dacă eu sunt, fac video și sunt întrebat în sculptură, prefer să răspund în video. Deci, translingvisticul este și transmedial. Și de asta susțin de câte ori pot activitatea și punea, deși aici am greșit, n-am menționat traducătorul, încă nu scrisesem această carte, este un foarte extraordinar traducător și autor pentru copii român, Florin Bican. Este unul dintre cei mai buni, adică textele mele dificile, inclusiv poezia, îi le dau lui să mi le traducă, pentru că este, cum să zic, gândește, adică cu noi e limba, se tăvălește prin ea, e o limbă metabolică, engleza, ceea ce nu este pentru mine. Deci acest, nu am mai spus de vă, deci a fost o lectură într am expus repede așa, a unui artist cu care am mai colaborat. Am vrut să-l aduc și în România, dar mă rog, nu s-a putut. Thomas Hirschhorn, și care face ceea ce se cheamă artă participativă. Și acesta era un fel de festival, așa îi spunea Spinoza Festival. Spinoza de ce? Că e filozoful... Bine, el era mai degrabă la Haga, dar e filozoful localizat în Olanda, țara toleranței, toată, toată lumea fugea în Olanda, se refugia în Olanda din alte țări, inclusiv din Franța. Hugenoții de asta a devenit protestantă și așa mai departe. O țară de refugiu, de azil. Uh, nu știu dacă mai e și azi. Uh, sau dacă mai vrea să fie. Uh, și acolo am ținut uh, această pe o zi ploioasă, de asta am foarte îmbrăcat, era mai primăvară. Și de atunci nici textul, nici uh, ca atare toată uh, silent lecture-ul ăsta nu l-am mai făcut și când am fost invitat și mi s-a spus că tema, am văzut că tema e silent, zic ok, am ceva cu, în care eu să apare mai degrabă tăcând. Este și așa un fel de spațializare a actului de comunicare, să zicem literară, pentru că, cum spuneam într-o postare recentă, dar nu e o idee a mea, m au întrebat la un moment trebuia să vorbesc în fața unor liceeni. Dar ce am citit dintr-o clasă din străinătate, din uh, părinți care lucrează la comun în comunitatea la Bruxelles. Ce noi cum să facem? Zic, măi, literatura, fiecare are o carte pentru voi. Deci cărțile sunt niște scrisori. Aveți cutia poștală plină, vi s-a scris deja, aveți niște chestii adresate. Deci cred că putem, până asta e o idee a unui romantic, Jean-Paul, și reluată după aia de Peter Slotter, dar care a făcut o teorie, cultura ca e, expediție poștală. <laughs> e, dar și acum po poșta, atunci era poștalion, trecea niște timp, deci eu am vrut să separe puțin de asta, nici n-am pus, bun, fiind și da, da, dar asta n-am pus simultan e, textul cu, cu vorbitul, a fost intenționat, sigur că da, plus că ăsta e mai scurt, au 10 minute, în momentul când textul a fost expus, 
puteam să mai continuăm, dar era deja au 10 minute între ele. Am zis să nu forțăm totuși nervii nimănui. Uh, și cam asta. Uh, am vrut să, pentru că era Spinoza, acolo am înnodat cumva ideea de artă, de uh, o teorie foarte subversivă și veche, rămasă marginalizată așa în teoria democrației, că e aceea tragerii la sorți. Care nu e posibil, probabil, la nivel de democrații, de națiuni, deci de comunități mari. Ea a fost în momente foarte importante, așa mici, în Atena, a fost inventată unde era un aparat, așa, un cleoterion se chema, băgăini, deci era un device, da, mai din piatră, așa cum erau pe atunci materialele. Băgai ieșea, deci o, o chestie de ales. Și atunci o datorie civică, se un an, se era în funcție. Bun, erai consiliat, dar trebuia să servești cetatea. Și atunci ideea de cetate era o chestie activă, adică îți lăsai afacerile. Nu te mai ocupa de afaceri, nu le, în niciun caz nu le amestecai. <laughs> uh, și cred, eu am, am avut un prim jet, ca să zic așa, și cu asta o să închei despre ideea asta, am scris o cărțulie care se cheamă Dada Zain. Dada Zain știți că e ființa la, la Heidegger. Dada Zain. E, și acum, între timp, am mai lucrat la ea și o să o reeditez. Cred că asta a fost 2012, abană, nu mai știu. Și e în curs de reeditare la, la Tracus Arte, pentru că tot acolo o publicasem și pe prima ediție și asta e mult mai mare. Și subtitlul încă nu am hotărât, dar era un, după aceea scrise să muntesc care se chema decât, decât să-i alegem, mai bine îi tragem la soție. Deci de aici venea cumva discuția. Asta e o primă prima discuție, o nodare a temelor ăsta arată, și bibliografia era și o anumită cu unele chestii le-aș mai completa, nu aș mai fi neapărat de acord și bibliografia era până la un anumit moment. N-am vrut să fac un uz academic de bibliografia așa să pun chiar note de subsol. Da, cam asta. Mă bucur că ați rămas cine ați rămas. Sper că nu v-am stricat din duminica dimineața. Ok, mersi. Thank you.